Alright guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So, guys, the V-Jump leaks have finally surfaced, and we now know exactly what we can expect from, hopefully, the new trailer that will come out sometime in the future. So, the theme of the next trailer is confirmed as Master and Apprentice. So, yes, the main thing that we're seeing from, you know, the leaks of the screenshots yesterday are confirmed now with the V-Jump scans. But that's not all. We got the confirmation of a ton of characters, some of which are from, well, technically Dragon Ball Z, but I guess Dragon Ball Super. So, um, in the master section, we have the confirmation of Whis, Adult Gohan, Videl, Future Gohan, Future Gohan Super Saiyan, Trunks Sword, and Trunks Sword Super Saiyan. And then in the Apprentice section, we have the confirmation of Beerus, Master Roshi, Yamcha and Krillin, who have already been confirmed to the game, as well as Piccolo, and then Kid Gohan. It, it, this is absolutely insane. I am so excited for all of this information. But anyway, let's break it down. So we are gonna start off on the Apprentice section. So it shows Apprentice, and the first character that we see is none other than, of course, Beerus. So, of course, uh, on the bottom section shows Beerus, and the move that he's using is called... Well, okay, it's supposed to be Sphere of Destruction, but in this game, they're calling it Super Destruction Ball? Why? I don't know. Like, maybe when there's, like... When they localize it, maybe they'll just change it to Sphere of Destruction, but translated the move is called super destruction ball of course that's his ultimate blast move or of course his ultimate attack uh that he used on super saiyan god goku in battle of gods so there's that moving down we have master roshi now this was one of the characters that was kind of leaked yesterday from the like high quality screenshots that we got from ben and Anko taiwan's facebook account but of course we have master roshi and his ultimate attack is thundershock surprise so I don't know if they're going to call it Thundershock Surprise or if they're going to call it Lightning Surprise or Surprise Attack. It has a lot of names, but in recent time, it's been called Thundershock Surprise. So this is Master Roshi's ultimate blast move as well. It was in Tenkaichi 3. A lot of you guys were telling me that yesterday that this move was in Tenkaichi 3. Again, in that game, I didn't really play Master Roshi, but after looking at gameplay, yes, I can confirm this move was in Tenkaichi 3, but it does return in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero as Master Roshi's ultimate blast move. So, now we move down, because of course Master Roshi is the, you know, is the master. We have the apprentices down below, starting off with Yamcha. So of course we have Yamcha, ultimate attack is none other than Spirit Ball, very self-explanatory. We all know that that's his uh, ultimate attack. No need to really dive into details concerning that. And then moving to the right, we have Krillin. Again, another character that has been confirmed to the game a long while ago, but we have Krillin. Now, this move has gone through a ton of name changes. It was first called Scatter Kamehameha. For whatever reason, I have no idea. I, I always thought since I was young, to the point of me being an adult now, that that name was really dumb. It was a really, really bad name. And then it got changed to Diffusion Blast, which I think is a significantly better name all around than Scatter Kamehameha. But in this game, they're calling it Scattering Energy Wave, which is fine. I mean, it's as long as it's not Scatter Kamehameha, because that really made no sense, then I'm fine. Uh, personally, I would like, I would have liked it more if it was called Diffusion Blast, but in this game, they're calling it Scattering Energy Wave. I don't know if that's his ultimate blast. If anything, it probably is because a lot of the images that are like in these uh, V-Jump scans are exactly that so yeah anyway his uh move is called scattering energy wave now we move on to the right and we have piccolo now people were talking um because i was seeing on like twitter and other youtube videos that people were uh like kind of considering if this piccolo was a different iteration of piccolo but unfortunately this is just regular piccolo so again the piccolo that's already been confirmed in the game since you know, we got like the trailer and all that stuff. This is the exact same Piccolo. There's no difference whatsoever. There's no super. There's no end. There's nothing of the sort. It's just Piccolo. So there's that. And also his ultimate attack. This move is... Okay, so the, the thing with this move is it... 
it i'm pretty sure it's been in tenkaichi 3 but its name translates only into japanese there is an english translation but i don't know if that's exactly what they're gonna call it in the game so the move directly translates to bakuretsu kikoho which means explosive cannon so uh i guess in technicality it's also like explosive mouth cannon but uh that's what it directly translates to so i don't know if they're gonna call it that when they localize it and the only reason why i'm not too sure is because in Tenkaichi 3 there were a lot of moves that retained their japanese names right like again for example like the mouth blast from the great apes was called chomakoho right which is pretty much just like super like mouth cannon or something along those lines so again i'm not sure if they're gonna translate that move into english this time around but at the very least the move is called bakuretsu kikoho which is just explosive cannon and following up on that notion on the bottom we have kid gohan and i'm i'm just happy that we're getting some version of gohan finally shown right but we have kid gohan now this follows the exact same premise of they're retaining the japanese name of the moves because again this move was called this specific thing in tenkaichi 3 but it does have an english translation so gohan is obviously using his ultimate attack it's called bakuretsu ranma which is explosive tempest if you were to translate that directly into english but in tenkaichi 3 it was called bakuretsu ranma so again we, we've already seen this move before what's crazy is in this pose this is different from how it was in Tenkaichi 3 because uh, the move that we see in Tenkaichi 3 is a rushdown move that ends with a, a blast, right? And we've seen Kid Gohan use that move against second form Frieza. But there's another version called, well, it was what I believe Explosive Assault. I forgot the name of the move. That's shown in uh, Xenoverse 2 where he's shooting multiple key blasts and then ends it off with one big blast. And this pose is directly from that. So I don't know if they're gonna change it up and have that now be a uh, Bakuretsu Ranma, but we'll we'll see. E either way though, we at least get to see Kid Gohan and his ultimate attack in the game. And then on the very bottom, it's not really anything too crazy. It's pretty much just talking about Super Saiyan Blue Goku and his blast move, which are your super attacks in the game and his ultimate blast. So Goku and his blast move is God Kamehameha, not even Super Kamehameha, god kamehameha and i'm so down for that again it's one of his god moves that's finally giving me the tenkaichi series i'm all for that and then his ultimate blast or of course his ultimate attack is none other than limit break kamehameha well limit break uh super kamehameha i had to make sure that um oh no 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 sorry it's limit break kamehameha i was looking at the yellow part <laughs> And it shows, um, like, obviously, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So, uh, I read that wrong, but on the bottom, it is Limit Break God Kamehameha. Because it shows uh, Genkai Topa Godo Kamehameha. So, anyway, yeah, uh, Limit Break God Kamehameha. That is Goku's ultimate blast move in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. We've already seen it in action. We've seen it in full-fledged gameplay. So, I just wanted to break that down for you guys while I had the opportunity. Now, we move on to the Master Section. And of course, seeing that we got Beerus, of course, we got the confirmation of Whis. So Whis is also in the game. Again, first time being in the Takaichi series ever alongside Beerus. And the move that he's using is none other than Symphony of Destruction. So we all know that in uh, Xenoverse 2 as like the kind of uh, wind move where he's just moving his finger side to side and you're like caught in like a like massive like gust of wind. So uh, yeah, that is symphony of destruction and then moving down we got the confirmation of another gohan adult gohan so of course adult gohan in this particular case is known as the master because his apprentice was the next character that we'll talk about but anyway we do have adult gohan and adult gohan's move is called explosive attack so uh i'm gonna be honest with you off the top of my head i really don't remember how that move looks like or if it uh if it's a new move i'm pretty sure it's probably been into kaichi 3 but whenever i used gohan i was always like super saiyan or super saiyan 2 so but it comes down to the base forms i don't remember how the move is but if you guys remember how it looks like let me know in the comment section below and then we move on to the right and we have videl 
And Bedell's move is Desperado Rush. Again, it was her uh, ultimate attack in the previous games. It's a rushdown move. Of course, like she doesn't really have uh, many key moves because she's still learning how to control her key. So that makes sense. So that returns as well as her ultimate attack. Now we move down. See, th this is why I'm happy. You, you guys, y'all finna learn today. We got Future Gohan. You guys already know that's one of my favorite characters right there. We have Future Gohan. Now, base form Future Gohan and his ultimate blast move is none other than Super Kamehameha. Very simplistic. I mean, it's kind of obvious, uh, but it's also fitting, of course, right? But I'm not even worried about base Future Gohan. No, 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 no. Below that, we have Super Saiyan Future Gohan. Now, getting his move out of the way, Super Saiyan Future Gohan's move is called Explosive Dance. And it seems to be the move that, you know, he used against the androids, uh, specifically against uh, Android 17, you know, grabbing him, throwing him all over the place, and then slamming him into that building. That seems to be his ultimate attack. I don't know if it's going to follow up into one-handed Kamehameha, but all I know is, is going to look clean one way or another. However, there is one detail. I told you guys that if they did this, I was going to be the happiest person in the world. For the first time ever in the Tenkaichi series, Future Gohan, Super Saiyan, I don't know about base form, it probably is base form, who knows, but Future Gohan, in some way, shape, or form, is one-handed. Yes! Finally, an actual one-handed future Gohan. And from what it seems like, it doesn't seem like it's battle damage. It seems like that's just how the character is. And again, I've been screaming that to the heavens for years, especially because in recent time, future Gohan has finally been allowed to be in the games with one arm. It all started with a uh, Buchigiri match. In that game, Gohan or future Gohan had one arm. After that, then uh, Dragon Ball Legends picked up on that, and we have a future Gohan, a Super Saiyan future Gohan specifically, with one arm, right? And then, of course, we have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. In that game, future Gohan has one arm after he takes damage from, you know, fighting the androids. And now, in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, future Gohan will have one arm. I'm just, I'm so glad that they're now being authentic to the character instead of what Xenoverse 2 did by giving him, like, that dead arm it's literally just there so i'm all down for that i'm so freaking happy Whew. okay now let's move on to the final character and of course it's none other than trunks however it's very important to specify that we have a multitude of trunks characters in dragon ball sparking zero this iteration of trunks is not known as future trunks and of course he's not trunks melee this is trunks sword so again, we do have Trunks Sword, Trunks Melee, and Future Trunks. All three of those characters are completely separate. All three of them. So we have Trunks Sword, and Trunks Sword's move is none other than Lightning Sword Slash. So that's Trunks' move from base form. And then, of course, we have Super Saiyan Trunks Sword, right? And his move is none other than Burning Attack. I mean, you can see it as clear as day from the screenshots. But, um... Yeah, that is a lot of characters that got announced from this V-Jump. And again, we have high quality screenshots, so we know a trailer is coming sometime soon. But still, we got the confirmation of Whis, Adult Gohan, Videl, Base Form Future Gohan, Super Saiyan Future Gohan, Base Form Trunk Sword, Super Saiyan Trunk Sword, Beerus, uh, who else? Uh, Beerus, Master Roshi, and Kid Gohan. That is 10 characters. So we now have a total of 61 characters confirmed for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I am so excited to see who else is going to be joining the roster. But I do want to know what you guys think about all of this information in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Adekuba. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.